hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this racing text effect in adobe after effects without using any plugin so without wasting any more time let's get started so here we are in after effects now let's create a new composition i'll name it as main animation as always height should be 1920 and sorry width should be 1920 and height should be 1080 frame rate is 30 second duration 1.40 second and bg color is black for now and let's hit ok I'll enable this grid and guide option. Now, first we will create one text. Uh, let's call it fast. Now, I'll choose a fill for this font I'm using next about. And I'll delete the stroke for this one. And I'll de decrease this spacing. Now, go to this Windows panel. Animation Composer Anchor Point Mover and align it to the center. Now go to this Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Yes. Now what we need to do is we will duplicate this here by hitting Ctrl D and again we will duplicate this by hitting Ctrl D. Now I will hide this first two layers and in this third layer what I'll do is I'll delete this fill and I'll choose the stroke and color of the stroke now I'll choose something like this and I'll increase this stroke now enable this second layer again I'll increase this stroke something like this now hit P for position drag it little bit down yes this right now enable this first layer now hide these three layers and for this I'll choose stroke and I will delete this fill and size of the stroke I think 5 is good now I will right click on it create shift from the text now I will delete this text layers and go to this add option and trim path now in trim path let's end value should be 80 and on this offset option hit alt and click that stopwatch and i add an expression loop sorry time slash star uh, let's say 40 yes so this is our animation portion now hit P for positioning now adjust this like this now again choose this second layer go to the effect and presets panel and add effect drop shadow now zoom it a little bit increase the softness increase the distance also again go to this first layer and again I will drop drop in shadow option increase the distance and increase softness also so it will look like this yes that is perfect I think I will also adjust this you can adjust these things according to you but for now this looks perfect to me
now i'll select all these layers and i'll hit ctrl shift c i'll call it as main text now i'll apply effect called uh, transform now before that i'll apply one more effect called cc scale y now i'll increase the stage stretch value let's say 6 and direction i'll choose minus 90 and center the start I'll choose this, hit the keyframe, go to this one second, adjust this keyframe like this. Hit F1 and I'll decrease the distance between these two keyframes so the animation will look like this. Yes. Now go to this transform. Sorry. Minus nine. And 10. So skew axis should be minus 90 and skew should be. Look at how it looks on 20. I think 20 is too much. 50 is good. Now again select this here and hit Ctrl Shift C move to all the attributes into the new composition press ok and again apply this transform effect on it and now make it Yes. So it will look like this. Now hit duplicate by hitting Ctrl D. Press S for scaling. Increase the size a little bit and press T for opacity. And let's make it 10. So it looks like this. Now what I'll do, I'll add a null object. And I'll parent these two layers with this null object. Now hit P for positioning. Press Alt to apply expressions. I'll apply wiggle expression. And let's make it 5 by 5. So it will look like it's wiggling. Now I'll add one background here background I'll apply a ramp effect for gradient instead of linear ramp I'll choose radial ramp pick this start point at the center and adjust this points like this instead of black I'll choose darkish blue and instead of white I choose dark black now I will increase the size of this first layer now after this hit scale option and I will increase the, increase the scale little bit Select these keyframes and hit F9 to easy knees. Go to the graph editor and adjust our graph. 
like this now select this layers and move this over here now I'll select the second layer and I'll apply the effect called light sweep yes cc light sweep let's create the free frame at one second on the center and at two seconds just like so yes now i'll create one adjustment layer and i'll apply one effect called lens Layer. Let's adjust this effect like this. Now I'll decrease the brightness for it. Keyframe go two step forwards and increase this up to the hundred, not much more. Again, after a few keyframes, add one keyframe over here and again decrease this. I think we need to move it a little bit. Yes, now hit keyframe on lens player center, hit U to see the keyframes and Animate this just like that. And adjust the keyframes. Yeah. So yep. This is our final animation. If you we want, then we can add one background also. So I'll create that background, I'll call it as new background, I'll create a new composition. Now I'll add fill, let's create one small circle, go, make it as center, go to this add and add repeater on it. I'll increase the copies and position should be I think 20 is good now hit ctrl D to duplicate this and let's make it 0 and second position like this now adjust this shape layer like this and hit ctrl D again and adjust this over here and another one adjust over this here and just like that now press ctrl 0 to open the project panel and drag this background layer over here and hit T now we will also parent this layer with our null object so yep this is our final animation thank you for watching this tutorial guys if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel until then stay tuned